Hi everyone, Woohoo here from the Coin Dictionary, and today I've got for you a 1957 British pre-decimal sixpence to talk about. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. On the obverse, Mary Gill Gillick's Young Laureate Portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. The legend around says Elizabeth II de Gratia Regina, meaning uh, Queen Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen. Turn this over to the other side, we see the rest of the inscription, Defender of the Faith, Feed Dith or uh, or fide defensatrix. Uh, we also see on the reverse here, the English rose, the Scottish thistle, the Northern Irish shamrock, and the Welsh leek aligned in a cross. These are the emblems of the four constituent nations of the United Kingdom. Uh, we see the denomination, six pence, and the year of mintage, 1957. Uh, this side was engraved by Edgar Fuller and Cecil Thomas, whose initials can be seen on either side of the Irish shamrock. Uh, these coins were produced from 1954 to 1970 with this portrait and inscription, that is. Um, they were copper nickel in composition, 2.83 grams in weight, 19.3 millimeters in diameter, 1 millimeter thick with a reeded edge. They were produced at the Tower Hill Royal Mint uh, in London, which was in operation from 1810 to 1975. Uh, now, I mentioned this was a pre-decimal six pence, which means that at the time, 240 pence equaled one pound. So this was one fortieth of a pound at the time. To keep that proportionality, even after decimalization, these continued to circulate until 1980 at a value of two and a half new pence. And shopkeepers could still make change with these older coins, uh, even though... Uh, even though these no longer had the value of six pence on its face. Uh, now, 1957 had a mintage of 105,654,200 for circulation, uh, making it a ridiculously common coin. Uh, although they were demonetized in 1980, or June of 1980 to be exact, they don't really hold a whole lot of uh, value even now, uh, especially in a circulated condition like this. This is probably the kind of thing that you'll find in your local coin shop's foreign coin bin for about a quarter. That being said, if this was an absolutely pristine, uncirculated example, yeah, sure, you could probably get a few bucks out of it. But uh, in this condition, like most of these coins tend to be, probably not so much. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information on this coin, and I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian and I own The Coin Dictionary and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.